Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. This is your host Steve. I'm at the Collins Foundation in Massachusetts here. This is a fantastic museum. Can't wait to take you through a tour of this museum. So if you're ever in Massachusetts, check out this museum. Be right back. Every Memorial Day, 37,000 American flags are placed in Boston Common to commemorate those citizens of Massachusetts who have laid down their lives in the defense of freedom. The American Heritage Museum seeks to honor these local fallen heroes, as well as the 1.3 million Americans who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Hello, I'm Rob Collins, Executive Director of the Collins Foundation's American Heritage Museum. I'm proud to welcome you and to showcase the amazing collection built by Jacques Littlefield. We're grateful to all of our donors who've made this museum possible. The theme of the American Heritage Museum is found in the opening line of the Declaration of Independence. When, in the course of human events, it becomes necessary. Necessary to do what? To fight for freedom in order to enjoy the rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Here you'll explore America's conflicts, beginning with the Revolutionary War to today. You'll discover and interact with our heritage through the history, the national effort developing new technologies of warfare, and the human impact of America's fight to preserve the freedom we all hold dear. One of our direct ancestors in the Collins family was John Cowdery of Boston. He was a Revolutionary War citizen soldier who fought at Bunker Hill in the Battle of Light Plains. As you tour the museum, take a moment to reflect on your own family backgrounds, your relatives past and present who have answered the call, ready and able to defend our freedoms. So to them, and to all veterans, men and women that are here today, we say thank you for your service. In times of war, America's history is filled with stories of men and women of extraordinary courage. Many of these citizen soldiers have taken up arms using the weapons and technology so carefully restored and preserved here at the American Heritage Museum. Their stories begin right here in Massachusetts, not 15 miles from where you are seated. Sturdy Bostonians, men like Sam Adams and John Hancock, would no longer stand for the taxing of tea, stamps, sugar, and other goods by British rulers to pay for their growing empire. On April 19th, 1775, a war of rebellion would break out in Concord, Massachusetts, and a Patriot militia would stun the Red Coast, driving them back to Boston. Within a year, this American Revolution would give birth to the Declaration of Independence. It is a document that gives purpose to this and all future armed conflicts involving Americans, 
a document dedicated to fighting for freedom, when, in the course of human events, it becomes necessary. These patriots would shock the world by turning back assaults of British troops at the Battle of Bunker Hill until their powder ran out. But the truth was, they were outmanned and outgunned from the start by a superior, highly trained British force. Even the stalwart commander, George Washington, was defeated in battle after battle. Yet gradually, through his cunning and fortitude, and with help from allies, the tide of the war would turn. But most importantly, it was the ragtag patriot citizen soldiers rallied to the cause of freedom that would achieve an astonishing victory over Britain's military, the mightiest in the world. The weapons that these dedicated men and women used to defend their freedom played an ever-increasing role in the outcomes of battle spawn. Concord's Patriot militiamen carried a fouling piece as compared to the more deadly Brown Bess musket, standard issue for a British record. A cannon forged in Pennsylvania and fired by the citizen soldiers like Boston's Henry Burbank of the 3rd Continental Artillery will help to shift the war in America's favor at the Battle of Monmouth. And finally, with the Battle of Yorktown, the war that would culminate in victory for Washington and his army, and the formation of a new independent America. This much was certain. Even though patriots often fought the war with hunting rifles while the British were armed the best of weaponry, Nothing could be found to be as powerful as the human spirit with a cause worth fighting for. Tragically, four score years after the end of the Revolutionary War, our nation, conceived in liberty, experiences an even more terrible struggle. A civil war that will tear at America from within. The scourge of slavery in a nation where all men were said to be created equal, will pit Americans against one another. Families will be ripped apart in what will be the nation's bloodiest war. The face of warfare changes again with new weapons and tactics on both sides. Telegraph lines speed communications. Railroads transport troops and supplies. Long-range artillery proves deadly. Men dig into trenches to defend a city. The Gatling gun that fires hundreds of rounds a minute is an ominous preview of future battles. Boston's Henry Adams, great-grandson of founding father John Adams, imagines even greater trials to come. Before many centuries more, science will be the master of man. Someday it shall have the existence of mankind in its power and the human race shall commit suicide by blowing up the world. While our union is preserved, 600,000 lives are lost. Nearly half the total military deaths in all of America's wars combined. the dawn of a new century, battles fought and lives lost had been chiefly on American soil, and these wars had causes worth fighting for. Yet soon, across an ocean where many of our ancestors began their quest for a new life, the world will explode. Our resolve will be tested. America will never be the same again. Please exit to the World War I theater to your right.